is honestly a horrible take. Stephen A. Smith said this on the first take today. I think the Los Angeles Lakers should strongly consider trading LeBron James. Honestly, a horrible move in my opinion. He averaged 30 points this year. If he would have played more games, he per- he would have had a very good chance of winning the scoring title. But he got injured late in the season. He was 37, averaging 30 points a game. Honestly, very impressive. Very close to catching Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I think trading him would honestly be a horrible move for the Lakers. And honestly, would show how bad their management is in general. I feel like he was the only good thing that really happened last season. His playing was really carrying the team for most of the year. And if they should trade anyone who's an all-star, it should be Anthony Davis. He needs to be traded from Lakers. I would agree with that. But LeBron, definitely not. This would be a horrible decision from the Lakers. And it would be, I don't know, it would just be bad. This is an NBA game that happened last night, NBA playoffs. 109 Celtics to 86 Bucks. Honestly, I was very surprised. I think the Bucks were going to play a lot better game. I actually thought they were going to win. The Celtics came out and just really strong. They were blowing them out. It was like 26 to like 10. It was really just had a whole blowout the whole game. They were up by double digits the whole game and really didn't let up the lead. Honestly, the Celtics played great defensively, offensively. They really had a good chance of stopping Giannis. Robert Williams played a great game last night. And Jalen Brown just had a great game as well. 30 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, and 6 three-pointers made. He had a great offensive game. Honestly, a lot of people were saying that the series should be o- the series is going to be over and that the Celtics are winning five or six games. Honestly, I feel like you need to wait for a while. The Bucks haven't caught a home playoff game yet, so well, we have to wait to see what will happen. They're one one, and the Bucks need what they need to do. Pretty much winning game at home the last game, but this was a great game from the Celtics, and overall just played great on both sides of the ball. This was a great NBA game on last night in the NBA playoffs. The Grizzlies won 106 to 101 Warriors. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson did not shoot well. From the three-point, they were combined five from 23. Honestly, not that great. And from the field goal, they were 16 of 44. Honestly, not great shooting performance from either of them. And they really just didn't play great the whole night. John Murray had a great game, 47 points, eight rebounds, eight assists, three steals, and five three-pointers made. He was really clutch throughout the whole game. I really thought at the end they had a chance of losing the game because it was very close. But then Jaw just made a couple. He really just... He really couldn't be stopped in the lane. No one could stop him. His layups were just going in, and no one could stop his anything he was doing. But what's your opinion on this game? And honestly, I feel like the Warriors are really in trouble right now. I feel like they can shoot a lot better. But what do you think? This is Viet Club Shay Shay Podcast, Bleacher Report, Grid Iron. I will say we're going to get something done. I think I'm going to be in South for the next few years. Which is honestly a good sign for the Seahawks. I feel like re-signing him will be a major move. A lot of people actually wanted him to be traded after the Russell Wilson thing. Honestly, I think that would have been a horrible decision. And what do you think?